anime. The greatest thing to happen to society since the birth of memes. It's a blessing and a curse. One day we can have the most beautiful story told about love, friendship, and promises. And the next we'll be watching a teacher deep pussy farting on her student's face who just so happens to be her stepbrother. You lucky son of a bitch. Anime truly goes hard. Whether it's romance, action, horror, or hentai. They stay cooking up heat. And as someone who has been watching anime for over a decade, I can safely say that it's greater when you're younger. And as you grow and consume much of it, it can become dull. But don't get it twisted, I still enjoy the crazy action scenes, the big tatas, the amazing stories, music, and animation. But if you're anything like me and more broke than R. Kelly, then you know the struggle that is. Let me speak my truth, because back in 14 BC, all the OGs weren't using Crunchyroll, Hulu, Netflix, or Funimation. Watching anime was a struggle, it wasn't as easy as tapping an app, and truth be told, it was difficult to find. Not only was anime found on select channels, but it wasn't as popular as it is now, thus making it harder than Finding Nemo. But that didn't stop us. We were out there watching anime like we were using the dark web. Using websites like anime123.com, myanime.com, and the best site that contained every anime ever made, from ovas to pilots to movies. Mwah anime.com this website was like a taste of heaven heaven's gates were finally open for all to stream any anime illegally and for a very long time it was the website to be at you could comment rate and watch every anime ever made and years later tragedy struck i still remember when kiss anime was getting taken down everyone was freaking out heaven's gates had been breached the fbi was on to everyone the apocalypse was here as we knew it, and we were all about to go to jail and become someone's bitch. And after a few months, Kiss Anime had become cucked anime, and officially taken down. It was truly a dark time for many of us. Many fell ill, others moved on, but the rest of us kept moving forward. And during this time, Netflix was at its peak and had acquired a few more animes. Strong hitters like Death Notes, Maji, Toradora, Little Birdie, More Tatas, and thicker butts. Great, we can watch anime on Netflix, right? Uh, not necessarily. A little afterwards, Crunchyroll had launched a newly made anime streaming service that was releasing nothing but anime and some live action adaptations as well. Great, we can definitely watch anime on Crunchyroll, right? Eh, kinda. Because if you want to watch an anime that Crunchyroll or Netflix don't have, then you need to look elsewhere. It's kind of like Monopoly, you have four players buying properties. But instead of being players, there are companies. And instead of buying homes, they are buying licenses for animes. So now, if I want to watch Bleach, I have to go on Hulu and pay 20 bucks for premium for the new season. If I want to watch Tokyo Ghoul, that's 10 bucks for Funimation. All One Piece episodes are only on Crunchyroll, so another whopping $10. 20 bucks for Netflix, and that's only worth it for Cyberpunk. And if none of these streaming services have the anime I'm looking for, the night poo poo it is, which is $3.99 per episode, or $15 through $39 bucks per one season. Apple, you retarded bitch, who's gonna be spending all that money? Of course, some animes are on multiple platforms, but they may not have all the seasons, or it's only on the platform for a limited time. In conclusion, I'm broke. I know I can go on websites like 9anime.com, but I'm not trying to get viruses on my PC. Let's go back in time, when I was a child of the Lord. A time when I was touching grass and playing house with the homies. A time before I got my heart broken and went on my Drake face. A time when I first tasted the rainbow. No, no, not that rainbow. This rainbow. If you're just discovering anime, then you stumbled upon some of the weirdest and yet intriguing storylines ever. Everything is fresh and new. It's a whole world filled with great storytelling, unique premises, and characters. But if you've been watching anime since you were a kid, not a lot can surprise you anymore from this media. For example, if the story is suddenly giving us a flashback or backstory in a side character, then he or she is about to get their cheeks clapped and about to be sent to the shadow realm. If the main character is catching those hands and getting slapped around like a porn star, then we know they're about to pop off and unleash the demon within. If she's built like a Bugatti, she's forever single. 
Yeah, anime is pretty cliche. While some stories are really unique, many follow the repetitive tropes, which aren't bad necessarily. But we all know what to expect out of these story tropes. If we're watching Shonen, then we're more or less likely to meet a trio. We're also going to have a friend rival who's the opposite of the MC. They love each other, hate each other, they're kind of like siblings. And finally, the main character is an underdog, and has demonic abilities or something unnatural that the good guys need in order to shit on the bad guys. If we're watching romance, it's usually in a high school setting. The two main leads are the opposites, and my balls become bluer than the smurf because they can't communicate their feelings. Kiss, hold hands, come on, please, please. Son of a f If we're watching a harem, then we're going to win the six girls fighting over a guy that looks so plain, he could be a background stan. Etc, etc, etc. Those of us who have watched anime for at least 10 years have seen it all, and therefore our anime interest has somewhat declined. We still enjoy it, but it's hard to keep us involved in many stories. And I'm not trying to be that guy, but... Fuck them kids. I just want more adults in their 20s or even 30s as protagonists in anime stories in general. It's starting to feel like every new show or manga is the same as the last one in terms of storytelling, plots, and characters. Everything is just a small carbon copy of the last, and it's just... Oh, it's alright. As an anime nerd, I just need something new to quench my taste buds. Back in the day when I was a young lad, I was like one of the girls with the Justin Bieber poster. But instead, it was anime. Anime was my Justin Bieber, and I truly was a believer. Believe it. Back then, I was able to consume 15 episodes of One Piece, watch one anime season that consisted of 12 episodes, read two volumes of manga, and still have time to watch Black Bible at midnight. Boy was I in for a treat when Imari came out rocking a demonic BP. I had to exit after that, 12 year old me was mentally defeated, but that's besides the point. Now that I'm an adult and have to be responsible, it's hard to actually keep up with many animes, especially when they have multiple seasons. For example, I still haven't finished My Hero Academia, I'm still on episode 6 of Fire Force, and Black Clover is the one anime I keep postponing. As a guy who works a full time job, goes to college, and has little free time for friends and family, I sadly don't have enough time for anime sometimes. I'm sure that's the case for other people. Some people may have families, kids, or are just constantly busy. And on their free time, they much rather spend it with their loved ones or on hobbies. It's different than when we were hooligans. Back then, time was always on our side because quite frankly, we had a lot of it. And as you grow up, you have less and less time for yourself. And it's not that bad, but it's something everyone has to do eventually. Overall, I still very much have a passion for anime. Yes, it's more difficult to watch due to circumstances, but each year something does intrigue me. It's one of the only type of medias that does storytelling like no other. And for that reason, even when I'm an old fart taking giant dookies in my pants, I will still very much be watching One Piece episode 3058.